Hello and welcome back to GCN. Coming up, we've got news from Qatar, Oman, Paris Nice, Mario Cipollini, Pat McQuaid, and Team Garmin Sharp. It was Mark Cavendish who ended up with the overall honours in the Tour of Qatar last week. His Amiga Pharma Quickstep team finished third on the team time trial on day two, but he then went on to take the last four stages in a row, comfortably earning enough bonus seconds to propel him to the top of the overall standings. Surprisingly, in a career where he's already won over 100 races, this was only the second time he's won a race overall. But as the inner ring pointed out on Twitter, he now has more stage race wins than Andy Schleck. GCN were over in Qatar, making friends of Cavendish and bringing you all the action. Hi to everyone at Global Cycling Network, except the cameraman is an annoying pain in the Whilst a lot of riders went straight to the Tour of Oman from Qatar, there are a few notable additions to the Hillier and the Desert races, including three former Tour de France winners. Alberto Contador of Saxo Tinkoff, Cadel Evans of BMC, and Team Sky of Bradley Wiggins, who's joined by teammate Chris Froome. Throw in Vincenzo Nibali of Astana and Joaquin Rodriguez of Katusha into the mix, and you're going to have a really hotly contested general classification. Other riders heading east include Peter Sagan of Cannondale and current world champion Philippe Gilbert of BMC. Once again, GCN's been over there to capture all the action. The creme de la creme of world cycling, including world champ Philippe Gilbert and tour champ Bradley Wiggins, were content to drift around the rear of the pack. The route of the 2013 Paris-Nice, otherwise known as the Race to the Sun, was announced by ASO last week. Running from the 3rd to the 10th of March, the 1,174km event kicks off with a 2.9km prologue around the streets of Ouya. The 1600m Montagne de Lure on Stage 5 will be the highest ever summit finish in the race's history and will no doubt shake up the overall standings. Those overall standings should be wide open this year with many big names including 2012 winner Sir Bradley Wiggins. Among those that are confirmed to start are Robert Kosink of Team Blanco, TJ Van Garderen of BMC and Thomas de Ghent of Vacan Soleil. The big news this weekend came from Italy. Mario Cipollini made the front page of La Gazzetta dello Sport who linked the sprint legend with the infamous Dr Fuentes. Fuentes reportedly provided Cipollini with EPO, growth hormone and blood transfusions from 2001 to 2004, a period in which Cipollini won Milan San Remo and the World Road Race Championships. The news continued into Monday with the paper claiming that Cipollini paid €130,000 to Fuentes in those four years. Cipollini has denied the allegations through his lawyer. Neil Rogers of Velo News grabbed an exclusive interview with UCI President Pat McQuaid as he attended the World Cyclocross Championships in Louisville. In the two-part interview, McQuaid distances himself from the former president Hein Verbruggen and reiterates how much he's done to change the sport since he became president in 2005. Here at GCN, we've been lucky enough to get our hands on the new Garmin 810. It's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. Let us know what you think and add your comments down below. It was a bad start to the season for Team Garmin Sharp. This is what greeted their mechanics on the morning of the fourth stage of the Tour Mediterranean. Overnight, thieves had broken into their team truck outside their hotel in Aix-en-Provence, stealing 17 bikes worth in the region of €250,000. Team CEO Jonathan Vorters said, This is a big loss for the team because the Tour of the Med was a huge goal for us and the team was in great shape for it. Despite offers from other teams to loan them equipment, the decision was made that it was a bit too late in the day to set them up. So the riders were forced to quit the race and head home. Well, that's all we've got time for on this week's GCN News Show. Don't forget, if you haven't done so already, you can subscribe for free by clicking up here. We'll be back at the same time next week, bringing you all of the news from the world of cycling.